Hello everyone, welcome to another fantasy match preview. This is for the game between New Zealand and Afghanistan. While New Zealand romp home against the favourites of this tournament, Afghanistan have a must win game, but I must say that they were impressive in that first game. In spite of losing it, they dropped one catch too many, else I felt like they had one chance higher in that game. And I have Nikhil Bhai with me today to carry you through this preview. Yes, and uh, firstly, of course, thank you so much for having me. And I'll not put it beyond 2022 to show us that Afghanistan will surprise New Zealand. Uh, mm. It may or may not happen, but it is very likely to happen given how things have been this year. Uh, and for that, I think they need the paces to strike up. I think Australia were completely shell-shocked by how Finn Allen started versus them. But this the, now other teams are ready. Now other teams know how New Zealand are going to come at them. So change of plan might be in place for New Zealand, but at least Afghanistan are better prepared. And uh, we know their spin threat, but I think the pace is what is what has to be the job of top for them. Right, because New Zealand have the option of conveniently playing out the spin and going all out against pace. Yep. But I feel like Mujib can be a good matchup mm-hmm. for both the opening batters. And on that note, let's first up look at the venue conditions for this game. So, two games at MCG on the same day, whether the same pitch will be used or not is a question that you must answer for yourself post the first game because that will dictate how much the Afghanistan spinners will actually come into play. Bilkul and historically, as we have discussed in the first match, MCG average score around 170. Hai. Hmm. Team batting first does win often. Uh, not every team has a Virat Kohli to chase down targets like those. So, hmm. Yeah, that's not chase ho ke different ho raha pe. So, pehle bhi agar aap bowling kar rahe ho, you will have to keep them to a below fast score. So, aap hi sida socho agar New Zealand pehle bowling karti hai, sabhi ki team same hogi. Hmm. And then, which four Afghanistan players you are taking might be the different. But if Afghanistan get a good score, then you have a great chance to win a very good amount in the jails. Even if they don't win, and if they are trouble New Zealand, you stand a very good chance because then you will have some differential players in your, in your sides. Yes, absolutely. So let's look at what base team we have in store for you. And keep in mind that you're joining the fan to play leaderboard with multiple teams because that's where you have your best chance to gain some big prizes. And the best part being that you can join with against only 10,000 odd teams. It's not like you're competing against a bunch of people, you're competing against lesser people. So it's more realistic for you and consistency will be rewarded. Oh, and again, we keep saying patch around the East game is very important. So hmm. it just makes even more sense to play on a platform that rewards making a good side. So please make your base team strong and then keep adding and having rotation so that you get good amount not just in that game leaderboard, but also the main leaderboard. Yes, absolutely. And the app link is in the description. So don't wait for anything and download. It's right now. Now let's look at our base team for this game. So this is our base team. And like you can see, currently we have gone Trent Bolt and Tim Saudi as captain and vice captain, assuming that New Zealand will bowl first. But first up, let's look at the keeping and batting options. We have gone Phil Anne- Finn Allen, Devin Conway, Ibrahim Zadran and Glenn Phillips, all our form base picks. Bilkul, uh... Kane Chacha can, of course, have a good game, but hmm. it depends on at what pace he plays. Yes, I have said that last time. He will give you those 15-20s. So, if you have 15-20s, you have potential, then please go ahead and pick him. Uh, Glenn Phillips takes a lot of catches. He took one stun in the last game already. And hmm. he's in form. So, if he has been in trouble with New Zealand, ko, he might be promoted up as well. So, uh, that is the logic behind taking him. And I think Ibrahim Zadran, I think in the last few times, last few months, he had a great time. In the domestic circuit as well, and he's looked very solid. He's not somebody who's going to hit like a Hazardullah as I you know, who at times just wax across the line. So, uh, those are very grand league picks. This is probably a safe and a small league pick. Yes, and who knows, Glenn Phillips might just open the bowling too against Azai, and that would be the most left field thing that would happen. But yes, let's get to the all rounders and bowlers. The two all rounders, Mitch Santner and Mohammad Nabi. And then we have five bowlers, like you can see. Yeah. And I don't think you'll question any of these picks because pacers will be important against Afghanistan, while spinners will be key for them against New Zealand. 
बिल्कुल जैसे मैंने पहले कहा कि यस ऑलराउंडर्स इंपॉर्टेंट है यहाँ पे आपको दो दिख रहे हैं बट देर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ ऑप्शन एक्स्ट्रा बोलर विध एक्स्ट्रा पेस इन लॉकी एज अपोज टू गोइंग विद एन एक्स्ट्रा ऑलराउंडर हु गिव यू समथिंग विद द बैट तो यू कैन गो विथ योर विजुअलाइजेशन बट सिर्फ दो बैटर का ऑप्शन आपको यहीं पर मिलेगा सो दैट इज द एडवांटेज कि भाई अगर आपको पांच ऑलराउंड नहीं चाहिए ज्यादा बोलर चाहिए तो यू कैन सेट अप योर टीम अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट एंड यू हैव द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी और इन सब में से आई डोंट थिंक एनी बडी इज गोइंग टू डाउट एनी पिक बिकॉज देर ऑल की प्लेयर्स यू आर लाइकली टू सी दैम बोल ऑल ऑफ देयर फोर ओवर्स तो दैट इज द लॉजिक हाँ अगर आपको लगता है कि यहाँ पे हमने मुजीब को भी लिया है एंड दोनों ओपनर को भी लिया है बट दैट इज बिकॉज न्यूज अफगानिस्तान हैव यूज मुजीब वेरी डिफरेंटली समटाइम्स इज कम इन इन द पावर प्ले एंड बोल थ्री बट समाइम्स इज कम आफ्टर फजल फरूकी फरीद मलिक एंड देव बोल्ड एंड एंड उमर साइज बोल्ड एंड देन इज कम पोस्ट पावर प्ले तो वो यूसेज के हिसाब से आपको मुझे पिक करना बहुत जरूरी है अगर आपको पता चलता है कि मुझे ओपन करने वाला है तो एक किसी ओपनर को ड्रॉप करना सेंसिबल है पर अगर वो पोस्ट पावर पे यूज हो रहा है तो यू कुछ स्टिल नॉट कैंसिल इच अदर विद दैट विद दोस पिक्स यस एब्सोल्युटली सो दैट रैप्स अप आवर बेस टीम फॉर द स्पेसिफिक गेम एंड बिफोर एंड वी गेट टू द ग्रैंड लीग ऑप्शंस फॉर द स्पेसिफिक गेम and yes before nikhil bhai reveals this pick keep in mind that the jersey giveaway is only for the first game of each day so ensure that you watch the first preview and answer that question over to you nikhil bhai bilkul i think my grand league pick is somebody that uh, everybody would know if they consume any of my content any which way i already took his name once and i'll say it again uh, najibul azhar there is no need for anything here fair call and the amount of leagues that he plays and the kind of finishing role that he plays it's pretty much obvious in fact he could be your second batter in place so ibrahim zadran too if you feel like swing can troubles zadran up front my grand league pick for this game if new zealand are chasing is kane williamson because if i i feel if the score is 140 ish then he might take his time and give you a 35 40 plus so if that works in his favor and if afghanistan are batting first then i might have him in my team बिल्कुल आई थिंक नजीब ऑल्सो हैड अ गुड टाइम अगेंस्ट न्यूजीलैंड सम टाइम बैक तो वो भी वी कैन ऑब्वियसली कंफर्म बट या अगर वी आर दैट नॉक इन द लास्ट वर्ल्ड कप वाज सो दैट इज ऑलमोस्ट गिव ऑल इंडियंस होप सो दैट्स दैट क्या ही बोले प्योर जय माता दी यस एब्सोल्युटली सो वी होप ऑल ऑफ यू एंजॉयड दिस प्रीव्यू हैव अ ग्रेट गेम एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस फील फ्री टू ड्रॉप देम इन द कमेंट्स वी होप ऑल ऑफ यू विन लॉट्स ऑफ मनी Happy New Year guys happy New Year